In this video we are talking about something that is called a bile limit. A bile limit was hard to understand when I started with trading because actually you are going to open a position to buy below the current price. Now why should you do that? Well, if you know about charting, you could use a buy limit to place an order like this one. Wait until the price comes down to the low of an uptrend. Now it's opened and if this is a small uptrend you would expect the price to rise until it reaches the take profit over here. That happened now. So right now we made $28. Now how can we create an expert advisor in MQL5 that is able to create such buy limit orders here? To do that, please click the little button here or press F4. Now you should see the meta editor here and here you want to click on file, new. Please select expert advisor from template. Click on continue. I will call this one simple buy limit, continue. Continue and finish. And now you can remove everything that is above the on tick function here and the two command lines. And now we need to do an import from the trade library that can be done by using the include function. And we need to include the trade.mqh file that comes with MetaTrader 5 and the MQL5 hatching mode. In the next step we are going to create an instance of the class ctrade that will be called trade and this is how it looks like. And the first thing we do in the onTick function is to get the ask price. We can do that by using symbol info double for the current symbol on the chart and we use symbol underline ask to calculate the ask price and that will be stored in a variable called ask and with normalized double and underscore digits we make sure that we get the right amount of digits for the currency pair on the chart because there are pairs that have three digits behind the dot and other currency pairs with five digits behind the dot and the underscore digits variable stores the number of digits after the decimal point. We also need to get the bid price. If you double click one of the currency pairs here, you will see two different prices. This is the ask price. That is what we have to pay when we want to buy something. This is the bid price. And that is the price that we would get if we sell it. And because of this difference here, we need to do a separate calculation. We will store the result in a variable called bit. And the rest of the line is equal to the line above. Except that we are using symbol underscore bit this time. Okay. In this test, we want to create a new pending order. If no order or position exists, you can find that out with MQL5 by checking the values of orders total and positions total. If both functions deliver a zero, that means we have no open orders and no open positions. So what's the difference? A position is something that is actually opened and traded right now and an order is something that you place into the market like here on the high and when the price would reach to the point where you have set the order the order would be triggered and it would become a position. Now if both calculations return a zero we would use trade.buyLimit to open a position for 10 micro lot. It will be placed 200 points below the current bid price. For the current symbol on the chart, we haven't defined a stop loss and the take profit value will be triggered 
when the price is 200 points above the ask price. We use order time GTC and a zero because we don't set an expiration date for our pending order. And the last zero here could be exchanged for a command string, but we don't need that. Okay, don't forget the closing bracket here. And if you're done, you can click on the compile button here or press F7 on your keyboard. And if everything went well, you shouldn't have any errors. So now you can click the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader you want to click on View, Strategy Tester or press Ctrl and R. And in the Strategy Tester please select the simple bylimit.ex5 file. Now let's click on Start. And right away here is our first buy limit order. And now you know how to create an expert advisor to automate buy limit orders. And you have created it yourself with a few lines of MQL5 code.